I write shitty rhyme. And when I try free verse, my poem goes completely off meter, like a majestic tiger leaping off the edge of a cliff and gravity is suddenly reversed. When poetic license I take, words in strange order, sense no make. Illusions, similes and metaphors, surely I can put in some of those in my poem. But like the cokehead friend that we all have, who claims to be an entrepreneur, they didn't really work. But maybe I can just sprinkle some relatable imagery and a soupçon of fancy words. But like the last cigarette in a pack reserved for a desperate hour, all I produced was cancer. Poetry is an examination of the sublime. It's a bearing of your deepest, darkest dungeons of desperate desires. But when I looked into myself, all I saw was memes, a, a very a very particular uh, recollection of the Flintstones theme song and a lot of information about Scarlett Johansson. It's a little bit creepy. They said write about love. That's what I was told after I hit a bit of a rough patch. That's probably easiest. So I wrote a piece about Benedict Cumberbatch. My lawyer says I'm not allowed to talk about it in public anymore. <laughs> Poetry is not an exact science. It's an art. Like getting on the train at the other station. It's it's not an experiment in a science lab. It's more of a tango in a ballroom, like getting on the train at the other station. It's, it's, I'm sorry, I'm blanking. Uh, it's, it's an aggregation of ideas, diverse in origins, but all headed towards one destination, like dust particles being sucked into a vacuum cleaner. Look. Limericks are easy, just do it. There's nothing really to it. Just pick up a theme, follow the scheme, screw it. <laughs> then I read a haiku. I thought I found my calling. Alas, false alarm. But I think there's still hope. I'm getting a little bit of a hang of couplets. But don't diss my poems before you walk a mile in my chaplets. Thanks.